Hello, everybody. This is uh, Jonathan Nez, Navajo Nation president. And I appreciate the invitation by the National uh, Academies Science, Engineering, and Medicine for providing a presentation today. Uh, we are talking about suicide prevention. You know, more so than ever before, I believe, our people are going through some difficult times, especially now that you see uh, we are slowly transitioning out of COVID-19. This worldwide pandemic has put a lot of stress on our people, especially those in the most uh, vulnerable categories, such as indigenous peoples. Uh, you know, we were isolated uh, for uh, some time now. You know, we had even tribes that had very strict protocols. And the Navajo Nation uh, put some very tough uh, regulations in place. You know, we had to stay at home. There were 57 hour weekend curfew. We knew that these types of uh, restrictions would uh, bring out a lot of emotions. But at the same time, it was put in place for the benefit of our Navajo people, our people that are within the Navajo Nation. Uh, people were at home, uh, but we, we just, encouraged our citizens to not just be fearful at home, but an, an opportunity was before us where our children, our parents, our grandparents, uh, our relatives were at home. And so we, the Navajo Nation, challenged our citizens to uh, teach, share uh, our history, share our family um history uh, and also um, share our ways of life teaching from one generation to the next. Uh, also encourage our people to learn uh, the language. And people took up farming. Uh, they uh, resurrected their farms and their gardens. And we also were looking at you know, having families come together at home, uh, having a home cooked meal together and just discuss uh, things that are uh, dear to their hearts. And of course, uh, just like any community out there, we lost a lot of our Navajo people, our elders that held a teaching. And so it was hard to grieve. That process was kind of taken away because of COVID-19. We weren't able to come together and comfort one another. Um, but as we transition out of uh, this pandemic, we are gathering again. Uh, I think it is a time of healing uh, and a, a time of restoration. You know, in terms of uh, mental and behavioral health, uh, we are getting resources, you know, through the federal government and even our own tribes, putting funding away for uh, mental health and behavioral health. You know, right now with uh, suicide prevention, what the Navajo Nation government is doing is uh, teaching and uh, presenting suicide prevention uh, presentations to our uh, Navajo employees here. So Navajo employees can identify if someone's struggling in the workforce or maybe even struggling at home. You know, these uh, tools, these information uh, is valuable to identify, you know, people that are having a difficult time and to give them help. You know, Navajo Nation Employee Benefits Program has uh, resources available to help uh, our staff, uh, our employees throughout these difficult times. Uh, you know, we're even going back into the school. We have initiative be post, I'm sorry, pre-pandemic. We were going out to schools, talking to the students, uh, sharing with them uh, information about suicide prevention. And we're going to be doing that once again, going into schools, uh, bringing uh, resources to the table, uh, and also you know, just having a frank discussion about what we went through as a people. You know, it was a very, very difficult time uh, throughout this pandemic. 
and we got to talk about it. You know, we got to share that experience. Uh, but it also brings out the resilience of these of our tribes uh, of the Navajo Nation. You know, uh, like for instance, at the start of the uh, pandemic, it's no secret you heard Navajo got hit hard. We had um, per capita number one cases in the country of COVID um, positive. And two years later, we turned that around. We are the most vaccinated um, community throughout this country. Uh, at over 70%, you know, even our elders, 89% of our elders have received their first and second dose. The third and fourth doses, you know, those are percentages are going up, but we turned it around. And so what we're telling our Navajo people is we persevered. We showed the rest of this country, if you want to uh, point it, uh, see it in that way, how we not only thought of ourselves, but we really thought about our families. We thought about our communities and we thought about our nation. We developed this bubble uh, over the Navajo Nation. You know, we, we locked down our borders. Uh, even our relatives couldn't come home. Uh, but we did this because we wanted to protect our most vulnerable population, our elders, those who have health problems, and our children. And so as we tr transition out, and you'll be hearing uh, many presentations uh, throughout the day, uh, and we just encourage everyone uh, to, you know, identify individuals, maybe in your home, in, in your workplace, in your communities. Uh, people are struggling. They're not going to, most of them won't come out and say, I, I need help. Uh, but I'm sure we if given the tools, can identify people that are um, going through some difficult times, maybe uh, going through some depression, maybe even some suicidal thoughts, uh, and we got to get them help. And, you know, we've seen uh, some great resources coming through with the uh, CARES funding, the ARPA funding, and the infrastructure funding, focusing on the mental health of our people. And so, you know, throughout uh, these presentations, I hope we all pick up, uh, we call them here on Navo, receive the weapons to fight off these monsters. You know, modern day monsters, day alcohol, drug addiction, PTSD, suicide, um, suicidal thoughts, depression, you know, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, many monsters that are plaguing all five finger beings. But with uh, with these resources that are being shared and what you'll be hearing are the weapons to combat uh, these uh, modern day monsters. And we just appreciate uh, everyone tuning in. You know, Navajo Nation is uh, the largest land-based tribe in the country. Uh, we have over 405,000 enrolled citizens and we have a robust uh, government that provides services. Uh, but of course, if we utilize our way of life teaching, just as I shared about our worldview of how we see things, we know we're constantly in battles. We're constantly in these wars against these monsters. But we are given the tools, as they say, or in our uh, perspective, the weapons to fight off these monsters in our communities. And I just want to close by saying that, uh, you know, we have so many traumas that are happening in our communities, uh, but we do have some great people uh, that are working throughout the country that are helping all indigenous nations. Uh, resources available from the Department of Health and Human Services, SAMHSA, and many others. Uh, even with COVID here, we uh, are fighting that, you know, and, and we do have the armor to fight off the this monster called COVID-19. And that is wearing our mask, that is getting our vaccinations and using our, our way of life teaching as weapons uh, to help our communities. So I appreciate the opportunity uh, to speak to you today 
uh, about uh, behavioral mental health uh, and within tribal communities. And, you know, it's not a cookie cutter approach. All tribes are different. Uh, we share our uh, thoughts, what has worked. Uh, some have not worked. But uh, we have the ability, leaders shipped throughout the country and tribal communities have the ability to uh, look at ways to see how these uh, resources can help our people, you know, and to, ha to have the most effective uh, strategies to close the gaps in uh, suicide ideation attempts and even deaths. So, you know, for, for me, I lost my, my niece to COVID-19 and our family went through some difficult times. And, uh, you know, she didn't believe in the vaccine. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people throughout this country don't, don't see it. But the impact it has on the rest of the family is long lasting. Uh, let us follow the protocols. Let us reach out for help. And that's all part of bringing balance back into the individual. And once you do that for yourself, you're able to help others. You know, you're able to help uh, your friend, your relatives, you help your community. And overall, you see your nation being restored to harmony. So uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to speak to you today. Again, uh, Jonathan Nez, president of the Navajo Nation. And while our prayers, our thoughts and prayers go out to all of our indigenous relatives throughout the country, everyone, all the five finger beans uh, for uh, your loss, if you have lost a loved one or if you're healing uh, from uh, contracting COVID-19. We're all in this together. Let's pray for one another. And thank you so much. God bless you and God bless our tribal nations throughout this country.